Nigel Farage yesterday set out Reform UK's <coughs> manifesto. He's not calling it that. It's a contract, including eye-catching proposals, such as raising the income tax threshold to £20,000 a year. But the experts have warned the sums don't add up, and Nigel Farage joins us now. Mr uh, Farage, your contract yesterday, um, tax cuts, big spending cuts, action on immigration... I mean, it's unusual to see such a universal view from the Institute for Fiscal Studies, from left commentators like Dan Needle, from um, uh, uh, Andrew Neil in the Mail today, all saying the sums don't add up, it's full of holes, it can't be implemented, would lead to bigger interest rates than happened with Liz Truss. I get the feeling that you don't really care about that at all. I mean, that you're not bothered, is that right? Well, funny enough, I mean, Dan Needle, who you just mentioned, said that our black hole was smaller than the Labour Party's black hole. Look, commentators will always tear manifestos to pieces, or in our case, our contract with the people. But I tell you what, Ed, I'd have thought you, as a former Labour man, would thoroughly approve of what we're trying to do. We're trying to get people who are trapped on benefits. They're on benefit, but if they work for more than 16 hours a week, they, they finish up being worse off by raising that tax threshold to £20,000. We make work pay. We get people off benefits, we help the lower paid keep more money in their pockets and we reduce the need for unskilled migration. So, look, it's ambitious, yes, but I believe it's absolutely the right thing to fight for. And we can make very big savings. I mean, the government's net zero programme is the most expensive thing this country has ever embarked on, certainly in peacetime. Uh, there are many other ways that we propose saving money, but this idea that we help those at the bottom, I think it's vital. A quick factual question. Who would gain most from your personal tax proposal? Somebody on the minimum wage, somebody on average earnings, or somebody on £95,000 a year? Uh, people on benefits would, 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 would gain the most because, actually, their whole lives would be transformed by making work... Mr Farage, people on benefits wouldn't benefit at all from the personal tax allowance because they wouldn't be paying any tax. Who would benefit most? Somebody on the minimum wage, somebody on average earnings, or somebody on £95,000? The poorest in society would benefit the most. And, as it, and when it the comes to, to raising question, the tax Mr. bans... Uh, I'm we sorry, think Mr. Farage. No, I'm sorry, we Mr. Farage. Think it, well, I'm we sorry, think factually, it's monstrous. No, no, I mean, we think it's monstrous. Facts are important here. The person who would benefit most, yeah. if you yeah. want, with your personal tax proposal, is somebody on £95,000, mm. who would gain far more than somebody on average earnings, who would gain much more than somebody on the minimum wage. Did you not know that? Not in percent... Not in percentage terms. No, that's not true. In actual terms, yes, the more you earn, the more you earn, even if you do pay tax. But in percentage terms, those at the bottom would do best. And when you talk that's about not, the tax ban, that's, that's, right. that's not right. Really. That's not A staff nurse now pays 40p tax. A staff. Why should a staff nurse pay what for decades was top rate tax? But somebody so on the yes, minimum wage we want to would gain less, absolutely and proportionally, than somebody on average earnings on £95,000. No. Your tax proposals help people who are richer not, rather than poor. Not in percentage terms. It's true. Not in percentage terms. Plus, plus you there admit are really other big the manifesto, which somebody on £95,000 would gain the about. most. You admit that? Somebody on £95,000 in cash terms would benefit the most? Well, OK. In percentage terms, no. That's in cash not the terms, question. In cash terms, somebody on £95,000 would gain more than somebody on average earnings or the minimum wage from your proposal. In, cash in percentage terms. terms, no. I oh, know, but I'm asking you a straight question. See, the thing terms, about you, Mr no. Farage, is you're a well, straight you can, talker. I mean, you, you don't play all these political games like Labour yeah. and the Conservatives. No, straight you're question. Playing, no, you're does somebody, playing silly look, games. Straight question. Does somebody not, in cash yeah, terms are, you see. gain you more see, on £95,000? So well, just answer the question, yes or no. The more you earn, the more you take home. Yes. What do you mean this is so typical? Being asked questions and asked to answer them? Well, 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 what's happening here? What's happening here is we're coming along as the third biggest party, maybe even the second biggest party by the weekend in terms of the total number of people that want to vote for us. Uh, and we want to have an open debate about yeah. the things we stand for. Sure. Yeah. And, and, we, and we're, we're getting stuck here on one very narrow point. Well, where it's, I argue it's your biggest tax cut you proposal. You argue in actual terms. Why don't we talk about our energy policy? Why don't, Why don't we, we talk, talk about, about your inheritance the fact tax we're the only party proposal, proposing Mr. to freeze Farage. immigration? Yeah. Oh, I'll ask about inheritance it's tax. At the moment, a couple monstrous. with a house yeah. less worth less than a million pounds will pay no inheritance tax. So your proposal to raise the threshold from a million that to depends. two million is a big tax giveaway only 
if your house is worth over a million pounds. Is that really your first priority? If you earned money and paid tax on it and bought a house, you shouldn't be taxed again. Your children, successors, shouldn't be taxed again after you die. But that's true for everybody, um, unless your house is worth over a million pounds. Why are you prioritising people whose houses are worth over a million pounds? You could spend the money on low-income people, medium-income people. Instead, you've got a massive tax cut only oh. if your house is worth over a million pounds. What's fair about that? I don't believe... I don't believe in double taxation. People have paid that tax during their working life, their kids should not have to pay tax again. And you know something? We've got one of the most complicated tax systems in the whole world. The tax code is 21,000 pages long. We're looking for mass simplification. Can I ask about your candidates, Nigel Farage? You've defended 41 yeah. found to be social media friends of a fascist leader, a former organiser for the British National Party <laughs> who founded the new British Union in the image yeah. of Oswald Mosley's British yeah. Union of Fascists. How can you defend 41 yeah, yeah. No candidates, one, candidates for your no party one even, found to be I'm social media friends? I'm surprised. Yeah. Do you know what? This bloke's name, I didn't even know what the bloke's name was until last Thursday, and people put stuff on Facebook and they like a comment and they've no idea who it's No, they hadn't from. liked a comment. They, they're actual social media friends on Facebook. That is saying that you want to be connected well, to someone. Look... Most of our candidates are not political sophisticates, all right? Now, having said that, like the Green Party, like other parties, we've had one or two slip through the net that shouldn't have done. There'll be a story coming out at lunchtime today where you'll hear that we paid a very large sum of money mm -hmm. to a reputable vetting company who didn't do the work. So, yes, We've got one or two problems. OK, but so it people doesn't, doesn't each actually other on take Facebook. a vetting sorry, company. I, I, just, I just don't take that seriously. It, just, it doesn't take a vetting company to check who's whose friend on Facebook. Yes, it, yes, so it what does. Are you going to do? Yes, it does. What are you going to do with the yes, 41 candidates? Are you happy with them standing and representing nothing, nothing, Reform no. UK? As I say, people like each other on Facebook without knowing who they're liking. Well, you, I think knowing who your friends are is quite an important test of your character. I've, I, you know, I am well, not friends with any fascist Facebook leaders on Facebook. Seconds. I can absolutely assure you of that. No, and you're... No, and you're a highly paid London political sophisticate. A lot of our people aren't. They see a comment on Facebook, they like it. They've no idea it's where it's... It's not a uh, comment, it Nigel from. Farage. It's, it's being... It's making a connection with someone who is a fascist leader. OK, yeah, so you're not going to do anything about those 41 it's candidates. What about it's the... It's pressing a button. What? No. It's what? It's pressing a button, OK. A Reform UK candidate has apologised for claiming the country would be far better if it had taken Hitler up on his offer of neutrality instead of fighting the Nazis in World War II. He said, in Britain, we need to exorcise the cult of Churchill and recognise in both policy and military strategy he was abysmal. Um, you want to teach a patriotic well, I... curriculum in secondary and I primary don't. schools. Is well, he the person you'd want to teach that? It... Interestingly, uh, Winston Churchill's great-nephew, the current Duke of Marlborough, has endorsed reform overnight. So we've got support from the Churchill family. There are some very eccentric people who think we shouldn't have fought either World War I or World War II because of the, of the cost in human terms and financial terms. I think they're plain wrong. OK, uh, but the, he, this chap is going to carry on standing as a candidate for you, is he, as well as the other 41 who've, um, once, who've linked with this fascist Once your leader. name... Are you proud once, about all of your candidates, uh, Nigel by Farage? By the way, by the way, people are allowed, you know... You know, in a free society, people mm. are allowed to have different opinions. I oh, disagree, yes. I disagree vehemently that we, that we should not have participated in World War II, but once your name's on the ballot paper, it can't be removed. Are you proud that someone like that is representing your party? I've just told you twice I disagree vehemently. Yeah, but I'm asking you, are you proud of your candidates? For the third time, for the third time of asking, I disagree vehemently with his comments. OK. All right, Nigel Farage, thank you for joining us this morning.